I think Moss Robson, the great researcher on Ukrainian yeah. Nazis, everyone should follow him on Twitter. I think Leading. he was the first to point this out. Yeah. Um, I had it sent to me by a source uh, who may have seen it from from him. I'm, I, I don't quite know. But mm. uh, Azov goes to Auschwitz. So this gentleman is a member of the Ukrainian Third Separate Assault Brigade, which is led by uh, Andrei Bolesky, the Ukrainian nationalist who vowed to lead the white races of the world in the final crusade against the Semite-led Untermenschen. Um, this gentleman is a member of the Third Assault Brigade, led by Bolesky, currently approved to receive weapons and training from the United States. Uh, and here he is at Auschwitz wearing a shirt, which on the back of it has a quote by Adolf Hitler. Here he is inside the museum, smiling and posing in front of a quote from Hermann Goering, marriage between Jews and subjects of the state of German or related blood are forbidden. This is the quote that he's smiling in front of. Now, his girlfriend, whom he went to Auschwitz with, uh, commented on this Instagram post of his saying, thank goodness I'm not Jewish. Moss Robson has also, oh, and here, here he is posing mm. in front of the, the banner of the Third Assault Brigade. Yes. Um, so you have Ukrainian Nazis going to Auschwitz. Me, as a Jew, am blocked by the Auschwitz Museum. That's because years ago, I tweeted about Nazis in Ukraine to them, and so they blocked me. Um, his Instagram account is now uh, deleted, yeeted, um, but and Moss Moss has more from his girlfriend here. Yeah, let me just pull this up really quick. Uh, his girlfriend publishing this, um, basically mirroring the old meme, uh, implying that she herself had burned people to death at Auschwitz. Uh, very mm -hmm. sick stuff. Um, again, this guy is a member of a military organization led by Ukraine's most notorious neo-Nazi, which is greenlit by the United States to receive weapons and training. Yeah. yeah. And I, know, I think we might have add as well, I might one more thing. Well, just, oh, go sorry. ahead. No, no, I just might add as well that like Azov has, <clears throat> as you're about to uh, mention, it has two offshoots, both named Centuria. And as we've discussed on the show before, uh, as Alex and I have both reported on, um, uh, that like, they uh, these centuria people have received weapons and training from like elite british military um instead and canadian and u.s military institutions and were like making videos while they were there about azov yeah it's just like I, 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 and and these people are meant to be vetted for their political persuasions that's right yeah and the and the third uh assault brigade which is like an offshoot of azov um yeah. because azov was so critical to uh, the defense of Mariupol against Russia, um, they had to go undergo a rebranding campaign. And so they removed the Sonin Rad from their, from their logo. Um, and basically, uh, a lot of the hardcore Nazis of Azov, uh, went off and joined the third separate assault brigade. Now the third separate assault brigade has been trained by the French military and, and actually, uh, was caught during these trainings, um, displaying neo-nazi symbols so this there's a great uh french investigation a uh, french media investigation on on that um i also talked about that in uh the um i believe in the deep dive i did on Azov for for active measures um and yeah uh centuria has received extensive nato training as you uh so thoroughly reported um so i just think it's like you know J Jews getting blocked by the Auschwitz Museum for pointing out Ukraine's Nazi problem while Ukrainian mm. Nazis uh, are, are welcomed and uh, basically uh, mock the, uh, the, the victims um, there. It's, mm. yeah. it's quite sick. Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.